Agent Helix to the battlefield. In this video, let's look at G.I. Joe Classified Helix. So here she is out of the box in all her glory. I got her from the whole shebang. She came into stock here in the UK in the whole shebang. I'll put a link to whole shebang in the comments below. But if you want to pick one up, she's still available. I've got to say she's great in hand. Little spoiler for the review. She's really good. Um, I'll probably give her an 8 or a 9 out of 10. But let's get into it more on Tac Tac Toys with Film. So welcome back to Tac Tac Toys with Film, your home of movie-based 112 scale action figures. G.I. Joe classified, as you can see here, Valorous Action Force and Operation Monster Force. So, yeah, in this video we're talking about Agent Helix. Yakety yak, his Tac Tac. So yeah, welcome back to Tac Tac Toys with Film, as I say, and you, Joe! And um, yeah, so this video is all uh, not for kids, just remember that. And uh, after we've got through that, let's talk about uh, G.I. Joe Classified and how it's absolutely killing the game. And here is Agent Helix. Now, Agent Helix is a video game and IDW comic book character. And let's have a look at the packaging. So here's the front of the packaging. As you can see here, you've got a picture of Agent Helix next to a SWAT truck. This could be from a storyline where she helped Dawn Moreno Snake Eyes um, and SWAT, a SWAT team smash a child uh, trafficking ring. So it could be in relation to that. But yep, the little uh, SWAT truck sort of um, Easter egg on the back of the box. And here's the side of the box. Here you can see. So it's got some artwork of Agent Helix. Um, the number in the in the line, I think it's 105, unless that's Shockwave. I'm going to do Shockwave soon. Here's the back of the box showing Agent Helix with all her weapons. You can see she comes with two handguns, a sort of um, machete, two swords, and then the sort of... Uh, knives or kind of yeah that clip onto her shoulders but like wolverine claws or knives that clip onto her shoulders so yeah here's the other side of the box as you can see here and she's 104 actually in the lines she's number 104 some great agent helix artwork on the side of the box there and let's get her out of the box and see what she's like so yeah here she is outside the box she looks absolutely perfect so yeah in essence agent helix is kind of like the gi joe's version of taskmaster in that she if she can see any sort of martial art once and sort of um adapt to it or become you know familiar with it um she can tell stuff like how many times how many rounds an enemy has by the amount of times they fired their guns so she's got those kind of like what what um hawk and duke call a sort of um organic battlefield sort of sense extrasensory perception type thing to, that she can use to her advantage so yep here she is outside the box as i say on my diorama and this is what she came in so here's the lovely artwork that the box she came in you know in the inside inner box in the packaging and of course with that you get her sort of uh, weapons and accessories cache that says agent helix on the side of the box and here it is so that's what comes in the box plus agent he if you're lucky in agent helix figures it should be yourself and we'll be returning to windowless packaging in the near future but yeah if you're enjoying this video don't forget to smash the like button feel free to comment and subscribe and let's look at the articulation so here she is in those one of those military poses her head can look up and down side to side put her arms behind her shoulders in that military style pose and let's get them out out of that pose so she goes to a t pose with her shoulders 360 degree shoulders double jointed elbows 360 degree wrist rotation as you can see there the shoulder the, the joint the double jointed elbows were a little stiff out the package but you just play with them a little bit and they'll they'll sort of work no need to hair dry them in this case but you can do if you want to butterfly joints as you can see there's on the other side the double jointed elbow and the wrist rotation she's got a fairly decent ab crunch as you can see there not too bad obviously i've taken off all the extra accessories and weapons to do this part but i'll do it with the accessories and weapons the articulation in a wee bit um or just a little bit yeah leg goes up there you can see double jointed knee uh, she's got a thigh cut as like all <coughs> gi joe classified drop down hip as you can see there she's got the boot cut as well Yep, there it is. And then the ankle rockers, which you can see as well in motion. And it's a really nice figure, actually. She's a really another female in the line that's done really well. All pinless again, like most G.I. Joe classifieds. Yep, there's the double jointed knee and the thigh cut on the other side. And the boot cut, uh, yeah, which you'll see now. And again, the drop down hips. Yeah, there's the boot cut and the ankle rockers. But yeah, she's a really nice figure. Um, she's probably one of the best females in the line so far. I mean, Shooter's quite good. I meant to do a review on Shooter, but... I never did it, but you'll see her in this video a bit later on, Shooter. Yeah, as I say, the the, the, the um, double-jointed elbows can be a little stiff at the package, but it's fine, really. Once you sort of play with her a little bit, they're absolutely fine. You can hair dry her if you need to at the double-jointed elbows, but 
you know, not much need to. And let's go through the articulation again. This is with her, all her weapons and accessories on. So yeah, head looks in a 360 degree motion, which obviously you can't do in real life as a person. Um, yeah, out, out to a T pose, double jointed elbows, as you can see there. Yeah, as I say, this was just out of the package, so they were a little stiff here, but they work fine once you sort of um, play around with them. She's obviously got her wrist gauntlets and her handguns, so um, yeah, see, so I had to really stress it a little bit there, but it's absolutely fine. You can hair dry it if you want, as I said, but you know, um, once you play around with them a little bit, they're absolutely fine. So yeah, the, the blades are extendable as well. I should say I took a handgun out there just to kind of show you a bit better. As you can see there, the blades do extend out. You've got the full wrist rotation. So everything's articulated on the figure, which again is part of the charm of classified, how much how much sort of accessories and, and you know options you get with an a classified figure. And the fact that her blades are fully articulated, another great touch. Um, she's got a little, um, on one of our arms, she's got a little sort of, um, band-aid tattoo which is quite a sort of nice touch but yeah um, as I say full sort of you know articulation yeah there's double jointed elbows and uh, knees sorry and the wrist uh, the thigh cut um, double jointed elbows double jointed knees sorry and thigh cut so the elbows again double jointed knees thigh cut drop down hips um, yeah and then the boot cut and ankle rockers so this is with it, her with everything on just thought i'd do a, an articulation sort of look at look at the articulation without all her gear and look at articulation afterwards with all her gear on obviously yeah once she's all geared up she poses just as well but showing you all the articulation here is a bit easier without all the gear on and then let's look at what she comes with so here she is in a military pose at eat you know standing to attention so she comes with two swords they are detachable from the sword sheaths as you can see there yeah they plug into her back I think the movie snake the movie storm shadow had these kind of um yeah swords and, and plug-in sheath at the back but they work really well on agent helix here so then she also comes with her yeah her wrist gauntlets which are articulated again a really great touch so you can put these on any figure you don't have to put them on just agent helix they don't even have to be on a classified figure if you want to put them on something else you can do yep and then yeah here's the other one let's say fully articulated so she's going to do some damage with those um you've got the the blade that plugs into the back of her belt or the sort of a yeah, machete that plugs in the back of her belt and then the handguns which i i think from what i can remember they did they? no they don't these i was gonna say they have removable um uh ammo um, ammo sort of ammo but they don't have removable ammo no it's a shockwave it's got the removable ammo so yeah that's what she comes with so if you're enjoying this video, again, don't forget to smash the like button. Feel free to comment and subscribe. Have you got Agent Helix on pre-order or have you managed to pick her up? And here she is. Let's do some comparisons. So as I say, as I say this is her next to uh, Jodie Shooter Craig. Now, uh, Shooter was named after Shooter based on the Marvel Comics 1980s editor Jim Shooter. Little fun fact for you there. But Shooter's another excellent female figure. I picked this one up from Kapow Toys. She's out of stock there now. But she's a member of the Night Force. We may get a regular version down the line, but another excellent female figure to, to add to the, your collection. If you're in the US, you'd probably pick her up from Walmart. And here she is next to Chuckles. Chuckles I absolutely love. I uh, picked him up from In Demand Toys at MCM Comic Con. One of my absolute favorite Joes. I love how much personality this figure's got. Yes, he's expensive, but he comes with a battle damaged head, sunglasses, you know, really adds a nice touch. Knuckle dusters, really adds a nice touch to sort of like all the, um, the personality that Chuckles comes with. But here he is on a mission with Helix, with Agent Helix. And again, Agent Helix is a fantastic figure. So um, classified are just killing it at the moment. And here's. Agent Helix next to a Swarm Horde, Valiverse Action Force Swarm Horde Trooper. Now I'll put a link to my Valiverse Action Force Swarm Horde Trooper review in the comments below so you can check that out if you want to. These might well be coming to Kapow Toys in the near future. So Valiverse Action Force are going to be coming back to Kapow Toys and Bobby Valor has hinted that this might be available on Kapow Toys. So if you want to pick him up at that point, you can do. And for all the latest Marvel Legends news reviews and live streams, you can check out Dan Who Reviews with co-host rich m you can check out turtles and tea with dan and tanner and you can check out joe's and juice with myself tom mini plastic multiverse and of course our host dan talking all the latest gi joe classified news fellow us action force and operation monster force and we are due a joe's and juice pretty soon so yeah we'll be on the lookout for that obviously i know dan will be uh, getting agent helix probably in hand soon and so no doubt he'll be doing a review possibly and for action figure reviews in the uk you can check out jay's toy collection uk 
and I'll put a link to his latest live stream in the comments below so you can check that out. Yep, he was with me at obviously MCM Comic Con, that's quite a while back now, but um, yeah, feel free to check out any of the videos in his collection. He's done a few wrestling videos recently and Lego videos, but feel free to check any of those out. And you can, of course, check out Miguel, the Wolfpack Toy Review, and he's done a few G.I. Joe classified videos in the, in the recent past, but I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the comments below and you can check out adam crone ac toy design for all his custom action figures and if you enjoy his youtube channel you can feel free to check out his patreon check out big wheel pixels and plastic and for all things mythic legions cosmic legions and more and of course they went to legions com recently you can check out trevor the one six shooter who went with cloud foxwell and kurt k feel free to check out austin the hero of collectors and you can check out why so serious toys and feel free to check out Brian's action figure reviews. And you can, of course, check out Elson Official Music for all the latest pop music covers. And for toy pickups. And also, yeah, um, film reviews, you can check out Cypher Sigma. And for, for toy photography, action figure toy photography tips and tricks, you can check out Photo Dave and Toy Picks. He does some great videos on yeah toy photography tips and tricks. You can check out Agent Z-Man. And feel free to check out the 3POA podcast with all the latest action figure chat and pop culture discussion and yeah again if you're enjoying this video don't forget to smash the like button feel free to comment and subscribe and as i say have you picked up agent helix yet or have you got her on pre-order let me know if you've yeah what, what your thoughts are on the figure so here she is here's agent helix next to a few non-gi joe classified comparisons this is next to the vhs uh, marvel legends cyclops we're probably going to get this character again in the x-men 97 wave but without the cell shading and here she is next to spider-man so this is a spider-man kit bash of my own design it's the renew your vows body with the retro spider-man uh, head plonked on there simple as that and um, a couple of hands but just wanted to get i didn't i wasn't a big fan of the renew your vows head so switch them over and again, if you want to pick up Agent Helix in the UK here, you can do it, the whole shebang. She's currently in stock now. And you can also feel free to check out Comics and Cocktails. They have their range of G.I. Joe classified in. And you can check out Kapow Toys, who soon be having Valorous Action Force in, in stock. You can, of course, check out In Demand Toys. And feel free to check out Props and Replicas. And you can check out Star Action Figures. And feel free to check out Valorous Action Force, as I mentioned, for all your Action Force needs. And Legends of the White Dragon are up for pre-order now as well. And I'll put a link to Valorous's website in the comments below, as well as all these excellent UK independent retailers. And you can, of course, check out Invincible Toys and their futuristic combat soldiers on Big Bad Toy Store. And for all the latest film and TV reviews, uh, you can check out their website, the Film and TV Review website, and their YouTube channel. So, yep, yeah, that's Agent Helix in a nutshell. I really like the figure, really good in hand. Plenty to plenty of, sort of options to pose and play with there. You make these videos possible, as I say always, so thanks for your support. And until next time, just make sure that you enjoy those flicks and figs. Yo, Joe!